Hi, this is Katrina Sargent, owner and creator of Devil Doll Custom Creations. Today, I'm going to be doing a honey bee or honeycomb peekaboo glitter pin tutorial. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. On my Etsy shop, I actually created everything that you will need for this tutorial. The digital file can be found here or you can create your own. If you have not watched my basic glitter pen tutorials in epoxy or crystallac, please go do so. You're gonna first need a sanded and prepped pen. I am now painting this gold from Arteza Paints. You can use any paints you would like. You can use spray paint if you would like. And then I am going to be glittering it with Glitter Chimps Honeycomb. I'm using Crystallac Glitter Glue. You can use Mod Podge, you can use Epoxy, you can do whichever you like. Since this is chunky, you're gonna to want to kind of wrap it with wax paper to lay that chunky glitter flat. This will save you in the long run. If you've noticed any bare spots, you can apply a fine gold to kind of fill those in. Once that is dry, do the wax paper thing again, smushing. Now, if you are using epoxy, you don't have to do this step. You can if you want, but if you're using Crystallac, you need to spray E6000 spray on top of your dried glitter. Smush it again once that is dry after about 10 minutes, and you're gonna do this probably two to three times to seal your glitter in before you bright tone. Epoxy or use bright tone until smooth. Here is part of the digital SVGs that come off my listing. It's already pre-sized. You're just gonna cut it out exactly how it is. Weed your vinyl and then apply it to a sanded pen. I made this strip a little longer, so in case your epoxy is thicker than mine, it will wrap around your pen. If it's thinner like mine, take your craft knife and kind of trim that up. Then I apply painter's tape to the top just so that is protected from spray paint. I like to kind of block off part of my vinyl. It kind of helps me get more of a random spot instead of being a pattern that I chose or that I cut out. It's, I just kind of lay it and whatever sticks, sticks. And whatever doesn't, doesn't kind of thing. If this is not a look you like, you can obviously wrap your vinyl around your pen until you're happy. I leave a small area with no honeycomb pattern in it for my saying. You can put your saying right over honeycomb if you would like. It's totally up to you. Once you're happy with it, spray paint it white. Once your paint is dry, then you can move on to the inking part. I use daffodil and honeycomb from Tim Holtz, and I have an old makeup sponge. You can also use alcohol to add a little bit of texture if you'd like. So what I end up doing is I usually just base coat the entire pen with daffodil. It doesn't have to be pretty at this moment. This is just to get a color onto your pen. Everything will move around once you start dabbing. And then I put a little bit of honeycomb on the opposite edge and then use that to kind of dab around to make kind of texture. Um, ink will move as you dab it. It will adjust. It will push the ink around. If you don't like the look of it, use your alcohol. It's easy to remove. And just kind of go around your pen, make sure every part of the pen has some kind of layered inks between your honeycomb. Make sure you get those too. You don't want to remove your vinyl and it not to look like the rest of the pen. And then just keep going around and layer things. When I find a place that I have too dark of an edge, I then just kind of dab at that one little edge with alcohol ink on my sponge, it will kind of break it up into more bubbles. I tend to like more of a darker honeycomb, so I use more honeycomb because it's more of that 
darker yellow. If you like more of the vibrant bright yellow, add more daffodil. I allow my inks to dry hours, if not overnight, before I do anything with them. Now it's time to remove all of the vinyl. Whatever weeding tool you like best, a hook, a pen tool, tweezers. I tend to work top to bottom so I don't miss any. So I will remove the painter's tape and then the drip vinyl stencil and then Go around the pen, going from top to bottom, removing the honeycomb. When you're removing any peekaboo, you want to start on a tip and then pull into the vinyl, not away from it. If your tool slips, you can gouge out part of your inks or paint or whatever you have. So I, like I said, kind of pull into the vinyl itself. Luckily, if you do slip and mark up your inks, it's easy fix. I will show you here in a few seconds. So if you made a mistake, I grab a tiny paintbrush and then the honeycomb and dab it along that scratch line. You will not see it unless you made a huge gouge and you can see your glitter from underneath. That's why you take your time with this. And then allow this ink to dry before you seal it with clear spray paint or quick coat, I prefer CCDOI quick coat, an epoxy or bright tone until smooth. Here is now the other section of my listing. I'm gonna show you how I make my water slides. This is the saying, the little B lines, the Bs. I'm gonna send it to my printer to print my water slides. Everything is already perfect size. If you have an inkjet printer, you need to seal your water slides. Seal them before you cut them out. This will help release it from the backing. You're gonna need a thing of water and a rag. Your pen that is smooth to the touch, has no lumps, no bumps, and it's cured. That means it is at least 12 hours of epoxy or day for bright tone before you add anything to do with water. Cut your water slides out close as you possibly can to the image. Once it releases from the back, it is good to get put onto your pen. Once it is on your pen, you're then going to want to use your finger or a rag and kind of get out any water that could be trapped underneath the water slide. Go from the middle, work your way out to the sides, work out to the edges. You want to get any air and water out from the underneath that water slide and continue doing it around your pen. Allow your water slides to dry before you epoxy or bright tone. Here's my favorite way to turn pens. It's a flower insert with two things or rubber bands on it. I will link Everything in the description, including these flower inserts on my turner. I hope everyone enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments. I will write back. Thank you to everyone for all your support and love I've been getting lately. Please like, share, subscribe. It means the world to me, and I cannot tell you how happy I am to do these tutorials.